Did you ask him about shooting a video? Yeah. Did he shoot it with you? Uh-uh. But he's, why did he not shoot it with you? I'm going to tell you why. He didn't want to charge me, but he didn't want to do it anyway. But hey, he had popped already? Yeah. Yeah, and just pop. It's not on you to for the chop of bullets and make a bitch nigga do the car. I shoot a nigga at Methodus and have his ass mid at park. And you asked him, say, man, look. let's shoot the video. Because you like, already bro, hot. Old. Like, like. He was like, bro, that's old. I don't like my verse. I don't like this. I don't like that. Let's do something new. Like, he, but even before he said that, he gave me the runaround for a minute. Like, we was going to do it. But, bro, I know he big. I know he got all these people in his business. I know how this go already. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Okay, so, fast forward. You got the business, and then you got, we grew up with, with dude who started it. Okay, but fast forward, and you guys are, are, are all uh, hanging out together. Where does it, explain to me when Yellow Beezy decides that he's not going to be there with you guys no more. Um, You see what I'm saying? To be honest with you, bro, he was about the house already before he popped. So, so really, he was he just moved around. Yeah, moved out the house. But he, but who who was he? Who did he move out the house? And how did he? When he moved, what was the reason he moved? Because when I live, with, like me and Bud, Monty Mo's living together, it's like man, you you gonna just be pilling? Hey, okay? keep it G with you, man. Real. He was moving there because he had some situations going on, and he needed to come there, and he needed to come operate from there, or do whatever he was doing there, and it was kind of like a lookout thing. He he needed to get on his feet, and he got on his feet. Oh, so at that time he was on he was on his ass. Yeah, and he didn't have nothing really. He was, I mean, I ain't gonna say it like that because he had he was, what he you had. You said he had to get on his feet. He was on his ass. Okay, cool. I'm just being real. That's true. It's true. So I mean, so it's he was true, on his true. ass. Well, shit, he on his feet now, so it don't matter. Exactly. So we just talking about. So that's about why what he lived, cause you don't get on your feet and, and stay on your ass. All right. So you got off. You got off his ass on y'all with, with y'all and got on his feet and left. Yeah, cause Pretty that's much. where you, your feet take you away from the Correct. people that's so, on the ass. So when he left, was it? It was in good good terms, right? Right. So you guys, uh, y'all had music together, right? Yeah, me and him got one song. One song. One y'all song. did when he was living with you. Yeah. And when he left, um, do you own the rights to that song now? Yeah. Okay, did you ever try to remix it, put it out or anything when he was popping and bubbling? Yeah, I tried to shoot a video to it. Did you ask him about shooting a video? Yeah. Did he shoot it with you? Uh-uh. But he's, why did he not shoot it with you? I'm going to tell you why. He didn't want to charge me, but he didn't want to do it anyway. But hey, had he had popped already? Yeah. Yeah, just and popped. It's not on you to for the chop of bullets and make a bitch nigga do the car. I shoot a nigga at Methodist and have his ass mid at park. And you asked him, say, man, look. let's shoot the video. Because you like, already bro, hot. Like, like. He was like, bro, that's old. I don't like my verse. I don't like this. I don't like that. Let's do something new. Like, he, But even before he said that, he gave me the runaround for a minute, like we was gonna do it. But bro, I know he big. I know he got all these people in his business. I know how this go already. I just trying to see what I like. It, you you know. just testing the water. Yeah. And he was I like, that shit wasn't possible. He was like, no, nah, I'm not. He 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 didn't yeah. he didn't do it. Yeah. Did he ever give you a clear explanation of he not gonna do it? And yeah. then he told me he didn't like the like he didn't. If he didn't like it, you gotta he bro, he trying to lie. Keep it. He was no, he's trying to push you. That's the up. best verse he got ever had. Shoot a nigga at Methodist, have his ass mid at Park. And you live so long, you'll fall asleep trying to shoot it at your talk. Bitch, I never been a hoe. Oh damn! I'm finna tell you he just lying because I ain't no way here. You my partner, we stay in same house. I'm not finna tell you. No, I'm gonna tell you and explain to you why. I'm not finna get around the bush. Oh, we been together the whole time, time bro. So it's like that's whole shit. What you mean? I, I'm gonna let you know what's going on. So why I can't do it? Yeah. Especially we partners. I'm gonna tell you why I can't do it. But why do you think it's his best verse? Because I've heard some yellow beezy verses, and that, that probably I don't need to hear I think that. I bring the best out of people. I think when I rap, when people when me, when I work with people, they go harder. They got to. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Niggas get the talking, guns get the sparking, we can box it out, this, whatever. They got to step it up when they, when they, when they owe me. So at, once you you and him um, kind of got past that point, um, did you ever um, did you ever hang like uh, you know hang with him again anywhere? Uh uh-uh, uh, we had we had we were booked on two shows together. Cool. So that was two That's times time. I seen him after you know and we spoke. He acknowledged me. That was that. 
the third time I was picking Ronnie up from the airport, and I guess they was on the same flight. So um, he seen he see smiled and he seen me and Ronnie again. He spoke because this was the time me and Ronnie probably we wasn't around each other for a long time. So Yellow was happy to see me and Ronnie together. Yellow was happy to see me picking Ronnie up from the airport. So that was the third time. Like I said, I, I seen him three times since he been famous. Them two shows together and that one time at the so airport. So it just mean he's not moving. And like he, he spoke used to, to me. He, like, he can't move he, like that anymore. Yeah, and he spoke to me every time. Like, what's up, brother? Like, so. But you understand why he moved the way he moved. Yeah, now, right. For sure. See, one of them times at the show it was a whole shootout. Yeah, he can't move like that no more. Sure. That's one thing I do. I do respect it's about a it. Shoot out. Y'all was shooting. I ain't say who was shooting. I said it was a shootout. <laughs> People was shooting. And somebody got shot. I don't know who was shooting. Oh, somebody got shot? Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah. Who blamed it on? One of the two rappers that be beefing. Oh, I got you now. I, I get you now. Four okay, we, we, we come. Mahia. We, we ain't doing it. Mahia. 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 Nah, you ain't got to go that Damn. far. Mahia. Damn, that's crazy, man. Because like I said, these people, man, y'all go through so much as rappers. I feel sorry for you because it's such a dangerous job. Yeah. You guys have put your life on the line. Y'all have turned the damn thing into the army, to be honest, with two war zones. Yeah. You know, and it's sad because young black men are killing each other. Yeah. You know what I'm we saying? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.